Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create the iPod Max silhouettes, just like the one that you've seen here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find a picture that you want to use. Now, I've selected this one, and as you can see, I've, I was, I've already used my pen tool to map out the path that I wanted, and just by clicking around the image. Now this can take a while, that's why I've already done it. And so, as you can see, it's just a matter of clicking around. So I'm just going to do the final click here. And then what we want to do is right click and select Make Selection. And then feather radius zero, and then just hit OK. Now what we want to do is go into Edit, Copy, and then go into File, New, and then hit OK. And then we want to select edit and then paste and that will paste the selection there onto a new layer. Now as you can see I've still got some of the black background that there so I'm just going to use the magic wand tool because it's a simple color just to delete those bits there. Now with the background um, just pick a color that you want. Now I'm just going to use the color picker to pick this color here and so it's just a pink um, AC5298 if you want to use that one and then just go select, deselect oh, wrong picture and then um, yeah with the background selected just fill that with pink just like so okay now what we want to do next is duplicate this layer by dragging it down to there and then we just want to make a layer mask on the above layer so we're just going to click this icon here with the top layer selected and then using our brush tool we're just going to erase everything but the iPod so start with a larger brush and you want to hide this layer so you can see what you're doing. So start with a larger brush to erase the everything but the iPod. So I'm just going to pause it and then come back when I've done it. As you can see I have masked, erased all of the picture except for the iPod and the earphones while it's been masked just like so. The next thing we want to do is select the middle layer and change the blending mode to multiply and then go into image adjustments and levels and now this is where you can black the person out completely or you can leave a bit of them in and just apply some highlights there so if you want let's just black them out completely for this example and just hit OK and that gives us that effect there. Now what you can do, you can add some text onto that if you like. Um, just click some here and type in iPod whatever. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, of course with this, if you do take your time masking it better, you won't see the skin color there. But that's generally it. So I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.